Sponsoring today's video, we have VIP GVG Mall, an official platform selling games for several PC launchers, consoles and of course Microsoft serial keys like The Office 2019 or the most common Windows 10 Pro, where you can use my SKG discount code and enjoy 20% off, making it only $14. After getting the key, you'll have the key in your profile and all you need to do is go to your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shingen Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Just do it! So today's video is the usual AMD driver, driver review video and in this case, it is the review of the 21.10.1 drivers, adrenaline drivers. And as I say in all my videos, 21 is the year 2021, 10 is the month, October, and 1 is the revision in that same month, so the second, the first revision of October, sorry. This driver is also an optional driver and not the recommended. The recommended is still the 21.8.2. The first official driver for Windows 11 from AMD is this one, the 21.10.1. So let's start from the beginning with the release notes. So right away we have support for Microsoft Windows 11 operating system, like I said. Then we have support for Far Cry 6, up to 10% increase in performance Far Cry 6, 1080p ultra settings with ray tracing enabled uh, with the 6700 XT, nice. Up to 12% increase in performance at 4K medium settings with the 6800 XT, also nice. And up to 13% at 1440p medium settings ray tracing enabled with the 6600 XT. So we basically have 6700 XT, 6800 XT and 6600 XT having performance upgrades um, in specific scenarios, of course, but performance up upgrades uh, in Far Cry 6 that just released today or will release tomorrow, something like that. Battlefield 2042 open beta, Naraka Blade Point, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds DirectX 12, up to 11% increase in performance in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds 4K settings with DirectX 12 using the Radeon software 21.9.10.1, sorry, on the 16 gigabyte Radeon RX 6800 XT, blah, 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 blah. Basically, I tested with my non-XT 6800 and the DirectX 12 in PUBG is still, uh, is still in really, really early version. So yeah, the DirectX 11 still performs better than the, the X12, so just keep the, the X11 or the DX11 enhanced if you want more settings, okay? So in the support part, we already have some really, really decent things. But let's now go to the fix, to the fixed issues part, which brings the most interesting ones. So right away, we have one of the most annoying bugs uh, in recent drivers for people playing the Horizon Zero Dawn on the, on the 6700 XT. And here we are. Playing Horizon Zero Dawn for an extended period may lead to driver timeouts or game crash on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 6700 XT. So this is fixed and I have and I have people on my comment section of the earlier video actually telling me that for them at least the, the 6700 XT has no problems anymore with the Horizon Zero Dawn. So that's pretty neat. They finally fixed it and people don't need to use the 21.3.1 drivers to actually be able to play Horizon Zero Dawn for let's say more than an hour, okay? Nice AMD, finally. Driver timeouts may be experienced while playing a game and streaming a video simultaneously on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 500 graphics cards. So this was a problem also in, in recent drivers with the RX 500 cards, so for example the 580 or 570, while playing and streaming, uh, people would have lots of problems and at least most of them seem to be fixed. Some users may experience high idle memory clock values when two or more monitors are connected to their systems. This is a thing actually that I noticed with my, with my RX 580, for example, even on a single monitor, that using, for example, the 21.8.2 or the 20 the 21.9.2, would actually bring the VRAM idle clocks up. 
thing that shouldn't happen. And going to the 21.10.1 actually fixes the VRAM clocks and they go back to idle at 300 MHz, okay? The same as they did with the 21.3.1, 21.4.1 and so on and so on. So the, late, the latest drivers actually had some bugs in this aspect uh, and the 21.10.1 fix it, fixes it at least for the RX 500 series. But I have idle clocks with the 5700 XT now, the 6800 and so on, so it seems everything is working fine. Driver timeouts may be experienced while playing the medium on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 6700 XT. Once again, another fix for the game, the medium, which in my opinion is very, very nice. The story is a bit short, of course, um, but in terms of gameplay, it is pretty, pretty nice. It isn't uh, anything from another world, uh, like the story and uh, the character, but actually dual screen where you are in the um, in one world and another at the same time is really, really cool. Really, really cool. You should try this game. Another one. On full GPU load, Radeon software may incorrectly display higher than actual GPU power consumption values. Okay. So Radeon software may actually show higher power consumption values, but how about the MS Afterburner? Will it show also the incorrect values or not? Because in the previous drivers, the 21.9.1 and 21.9.2, the RX 6000 series were actually pushing a lot, or in this case, pulling a lot more power, at least my card, and the temperatures were going up due to that. So I don't really know if it is just um, a misreading because the temperatures were actually higher. And in this driver, the 21.10.1, the temperatures actually went down a bit, which is pretty nice, but we'll go there. The last one is while playing Wreckfest or Arma 3, image corruption may be experienced when viewing foliage. So foliage is fixed for Wreckfest and Arma 3. Now let's put the cell phone down, my Samsung S20, and I actually have some notes here uh, of some things that I found when the, with his drivers. Okay, so uh, comparing to the 21.9.2, which I said that were a good driver or a good driver pack for the RX 5000 series, it wasn't the same for the RX 6000 series. So the 21.9.1 and 21.9.2 uh, were, were the drivers that actually enabled, after the 21.9.1, enabled smart access memory on the RX 5000 series. And both drivers were completely fine for the RX 5000 series, even more the 21.9.2. But they were actually pretty bad with the RX 6000 series, at least in my case with my 6600 XT and my 6800 they were quite worse than the 21.8.2, which was the recommended one. So basically now the 21.11.1 is actually better than both the 21.9.1 and 21.9.2 and also the 21.8.2 even on the RX 6000, <laughs> even on the RX 6000 series. Meaning that this card is good for the 6000 series is good for the 5000 series and it is also good for older cards like Vega and RX 500 series which uh, I'm actually testing right now the RX 580 and the driver is working perfectly. Um, the windows even feel snappier than the previous driver so that's a big plus in my opinion. Also the power draw in the RX 6000 series is fixed so the power draw is now normal and the temperatures are actually a bit lower in most scenarios for example in games like Fortnite, in games like PUBG and in some other games we have uh, a bit better temperatures with the newer drivers compared for example with the 21.8.2 uh, which is fine and in some scenarios even more performance. It's pretty nice. It's a win-win situation. Just do it! To finish this long video, longer than usual video, um, the RX 580 also had some HDMI audio cracks here and there with some driver versions only, at least for me, and with the 21.10.1 when using the, the computer normally I have no audio cracks. Playing uh, music, playing videos, playing some games, no audio crack. So that's a big plus. Um, and let me see, I think there's another. Let me see, let me see. Yes. 
So basically the 21.9.2 drivers and the 21.9.1 drivers had a problem, which was the washed out colors in some YouTube videos, for example. Uh, not happening in some, in some browsers, but in most browsers uh, and in most GPUs, it was happening. It was happening for my 6600 XT and for my 6800 XT. So for my main and secondary build, it was happening. So when watching YouTube videos, the colors would be washed out. And this driver, the 21.10.1, also fixes it. And well, guys, that's basically it. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Um, and yeah, basically that's it. Hit like, subscribe and share this video. And let's finally go to the performance comparisons with the 6800 and the 5700 XT. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Stop! Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place and no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. The hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? <laughs>